Beagle. Beagle's always been a problem child. You see, Beagle didn't use Trek IR. And every time he lifted off, the lives of his crew, his passengers, might as well have been forfeit. Through our crash scene investigations and black box recovery, I bring you just a sampling of his shame of the lives lost, the tragedies. Oh yeah, I got enough room here. Ah, oh, man's still alive. All 30 souls perished. All right, Command, I, I think I found an LZ. I'm just gonna land right here. He was their last hope, and we never recovered the bodies. Those couldn't have been friendly, you know why? Ah, oh, fuck shit. They were, oh, God. and they survived up until that fateful moment. All right, boys, get ready for landing. We're coming in on the LZ now. He couldn't even see that his own rotors had stopped. Hey, any of you guys see any op for? His passengers died screaming, burning. This man, this man is a flying menace. A dark, twisted soul who took pleasure in his shame. After the calamity of the Battle of Protovino, Beagle was given an ultimatum. Learn to fly with Track IR, or turn in his wings. Not one to back down from a flying challenge, Beagle accepted. The terms would be simple. The aircraft of choice, an AV-8B Harrier. But armaments would be too close for missiles, switching to guns only. The place, the date, right here, right now, on Capriya, a highway to the danger zone. One on one, man to man, no quarter given, none received. Beagle versus dyslexia. Dogfight of the century. The clock is ticking, and as of now, we are keeping score.